Welcome to our Advanced Placement Psychology series. In this video, we'll dive into Unit 1, Part 6, focusing on the pain sensory system. Understanding how the pain system functions is crucial for grasping how our biological systems influence our physical and mental actions and responses. In this section, we'll explore how the structures and functions of the pain sensory system relate to behavior and mental processes. We'll break down complex concepts with clear examples and engaging graphics. By the end of this video, you'll have a solid understanding of the pain sensory system and its relation to behavior and mental processes, setting a strong foundation for your AP Psychology course. Let's begin by defining the pain sensory system and explaining its importance in detecting harmful stimuli and protecting the body from injury. The pain sensory system involves several key processes and complexities. Nociceptors are pain receptors located in the skin, muscles, and organs that detect harmful stimuli and send signals to the brain. Pain signals travel from nociceptors to the spinal cord and then to the brain for processing. The somatosensory cortex, located in the parietal lobe, processes the sensory aspects of pain. The gate control theory suggests that the spinal cord contains a neurological gate that either blocks or allows pain signals to pass to the brain. Factors such as psychological state and attention can influence this gate. Phantom limb sensation is a phenomenon where individuals who have lost a limb continue to feel sensations, including pain, in the absent limb. This highlights the brain's role in the perception of pain. Let's explore how the pain sensory system influences behavior and mental processes. Chronic pain can affect behavior and mental health, leading to issues such as depression and anxiety. Techniques such as cognitive behavioral therapy, medication, and physical therapy can help manage pain and improve quality of life. In this section, we explored how the structures and functions of the pain sensory system relate to behavior and mental processes. We covered nociceptors, pain pathways, the somatosensory cortex, gait control theory, phantom limb sensation, chronic pain, and pain management techniques. Understanding these concepts is crucial for grasping how our pain system influences our physical and mental actions. Thank you for watching. We hope this video has enhanced your understanding of the pain sensory system and its relation to behavior and mental processes. Stay tuned for more videos in our AP Psychology series.